hi and welcome to my channel if you're somebody who is currently applying for visa sponsorship jobs to move to the uk or you're in the uk looking to switch to another sponsor then this video is going to be perfect for you because let me tell you something if you're looking for visa sponsorship jobs there is a right sequence of events in order for you to follow i'm also going to talk about which jobs are currently offering visa sponsorship but most importantly how to get these jobs the reason i'm talking about this is because every single day i get hundreds and hundreds of emails to my inbox saying to me melvis i've got all the requirements to work in the uk i've got my tb certificate i've done lots of courses i've done placements i've done practical in this hospital i've done volunteering i've done my out my oet whatever it is but guess what i don't have a job and what i say to this is you've got everything except the one thing you need because guess what you need a job in order to move to the uk or in order to switch and so that's why i'm recording this video just to share with you what you should do and in what order so if you haven't joined this family take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button below because you definitely want to be the first person that is notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at any prompt uk time look i'm obsessed with jobs in the uk career progression opportunities in the uk visa sponsorship opportunities free to move to the uk without spending thousands of pounds getting bankrupt getting in debt selling everything that you got maybe even for nothing so that's why i bring this information to you and by the way if you're watching this and you're thinking melvis i'm sick and tired of going through all of this by myself struggling and just crouching and i need support then check the comment section below you're going to see my contact details it's my whatsapp number as well as my email address and you can contact me obviously after you've watched the whole video because you definitely want to know what i'm talking about also i do have a free newsletter which you're going to find in the comment section below it's free i send that info directly to your inbox when you join you simply drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter so that I send that info directly to your inbox. Because if like me, you're part of the top 1%, my goal in the UK is to work less, earn a lot more money and retire early. I've never been a fan of working extra shifts and doing that. No, I prefer career progression and then I can work less and earn a lot more so that I can retire early. And if this resonates with you, then leave a comment in the comment section below and say, Melvis, I will implement this. Because guess what? Implementation is key. Watching video after video after video without implementation is going to lead nowhere except burnout. And if you're watching my videos, then this is not your potion. So number one thing that you should be doing is checking out what are the jobs in the uk that are actually offering visa sponsorship look this is the biggest thing that many people are overlooking many people just rush in they hear about moving to the uk they start doing out they start doing oet they start you know getting their tb certificates they start doing all these different things and i'm like which job are you actually applying for you've got no idea mm -mm. it's not the requirements first first you need to check which jobs are offering visa sponsorship that's the first thing. And so how do you actually check that? You don't do that from just watching YouTube videos. I mean, I know that this is on YouTube, by the way. But guess what? YouTube isn't the best source of information. YouTube is good for tips, for just quick ideas, you know, like light bulb ideas like this video. But after this, I expect you to do extensive research on the things that I've spoken about in this video because I'm not able to extensively exhaust all of what you need to know in order to do that research that is needed for you to know which jobs are offering visa sponsorship. I think you get me. And if you're not aware, by the way, I currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in England. And I started my journey as a carer. I like to share this because how you start your journey in the UK doesn't matter, but it's how you progress and how you end that ultimately really matters. And I've got my private career coaching program which I've had for over four years now, supporting, you know, with career progression in the UK, visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, getting into nursing, NHS jobs, you can come or switch with your dependents in the UK, career progression into senior positions. If you're keen on knowing more information about this and you are part of the top 1%, obviously, check the description box below or the about section of this channel and you're going to see more information about that amazing coaching program like i say it's not the easy option it is requiring a lot of work it requires you to participate to show up you know to 
apply for jobs to understand what the job is about the interview and all of that but you're going to get the support that is needed and you're going to be able to have more clarity about this whole process that's the point of the program so like we are saying which jobs offer sponsorship and the shortage occupation list was quite a good thing to go through previously but now that has been scrapped so now we have what is called the immigration salary list that should be your best friend if you're part of my private coaching program we're going to go through this on thursday because guess what it is our little bible because we have to go through this to make sure that you know which jobs are on there what it means for that particular job does it allow dependence does it not is it exempted from the healthcare surcharge is it not these are all the things you need to know and gone are those days where it was just easy to say i'm gonna apply for this job now you need to look at so many things because some jobs come with so many fees compared to other jobs like there are jobs that if you have a family for example you're moving to the uk you can pay twenty thousand, and jobs that you can only pay one thousand so you need to be very careful which one you're going for and if you're watching this Leave a comment in the comment section below. Which job are you currently considering? And I'm happy to share more information as to the cost associated with that particular job. So, which is the cheapest way to get to the UK, including your family? Like I say, if you need more information about that, leave that in the comment section. I'm more than happy to share. Also, share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of some of these tips and tricks that you need to know in order for them to go through this journey successfully it's gonna take time you know i'm not here to say that it's easy it's a walk in the park it is not but i'm here to say that it is worth the effort in the end for those people one percent of people obviously that will persist and have the tenacity to successfully go through this without giving up because many people are going to give up when they're just one job away from the success what a shame so again leave a comment in the comment section below and say melvis i'm part of the top one percent because that's who i need on this channel and so another thing is that once you've gone through that list you don't need to check the requirements of the job because yes now you know which job you're applying for the next thing is what's needed some jobs require professional registration and by the way if you're not aware the jobs that are currently offering visa sponsorship that are the best apply in the UK, 99.9% .9 of them are healthcare related jobs. So if you're sat there saying healthcare is not for me, I don't do this, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm so this, I'm so that, good luck. Best wishes. Because like I say, 99% healthcare, whether you've got experience or not, you can make it. If you want to know the easiest jobs to get visa sponsorship, whether you're single or dependent, Leave a comment in the comment section below. So like I said, once you decide on the job, the next thing, the requirements. What does this job need? You don't get the requirements before. Mm -mm. Because every job has, has different requirements. First, the job. Then second, requirements. Once you've got all of those requirements, whatever they may be, the next thing is to apply. Who is recruiting? Yes. Who is recruiting for that particular job? Are you from a red list country? Are you not? What about the recruitment processes the rules any specific regulations healthcare is a highly regulated industry is this company legit is it not how do you proceed i mean there is a lot to consider so then you go through that so the application process is the final process in the whole of this equation and this is something that i'm going to tell you like i say if you tick all the boxes, you do everything in the order that I've said, you're going to sit there and say, Melvis, I don't even know why I was struggling because it's not as bad as I say. Even if you join my private coaching program, you need to show up during those live sessions. If you can't, if you can't show up, that's fine. Go through the recording because you go through a lot of information. And the people who show up in those sessions are the most successful people that come out of the program. If you pay money and you're not showing up i mean what's the point you need to make sure that you're accounting and accountable for every single penny that you spend even though it's yours and i'm more for that accountability because part of retiring early is that you're accountable for your money because money isn't easy to come by so why get it wasted there's no reason to and so if you're watching this and you're like hey melvis girl <laughs> look i need to get more details about this i need to get into this get digging because i've got videos here about every single aspect when it comes to the uk like i say i love anything about jobs career progression applying for jobs visa sponsorship what's needed what do you do interviews i love that and that's what has helped me to be able to progress so fast in my uk career from a carer to an advanced nurse practitioner which is the most senior clinical nursing job in a very short time and i have been successful 
in every single interview that I've had in the UK. I mean, it's taken a lot of effort. I mean, I'm not trying to be like, but guess what? <laughs> It's worth it because this country appreciates people that are putting in the effort, people that are enthusiastic and people that are not just like, mm, I'm going to see what I can do. We'll do what we can. Mm -mm. If you're watching these videos, like I say, you need to be part of the top 1%. You need to put in the extra effort that you need to be different. You're not there to be the same as everyone else. No, you're there to do more. You have to do more. You have to prove that you are deserving and you're worth it. That's how life is. The people who get the best is because they have gone the extra mile. So what do you think about this? If you need to contact me, like I said, check the comment section below. You're going to see my contact details. Feel free to get in contact with me. And then I'll be like, okay, this is what you need to do. Check this out here.